today i'm going to show you how to split your virgin media broadband wireless into 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz signals open your web browser and on the address bar start typing 192.168.0.1 and hit enter so it will ask for your password you can find underneath your wireless router enter the password and hit next it will take some time to load your home page so go to advanced settings and then wireless and then wireless signal wait for the page to load in the wireless signal page you can find out whether your frequency 2.4 and 5 gigahertz is enabled or not if it is enabled you can see a green color arrow on the enabled button if it is not enabled you can find the green arrow on the disabled section so if it is disabled click enable enable both 5g and the 2.4g and hit apply changes my one is already enabled so i'm not clicking apply changes and go to security tab under the wireless signal it will take some time to load the page okay here you can find the 2.4 gigahertz wireless security settings and the 5 gigahertz wireless configuration as well so here you can find that the SSID name for both the uh, 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz are the same so if you want to split it to two different versions you have to give unique name so i'm going to change the name into underscore 2g and underscore 5g after the default name so we can easily identify which one is 5g and which one is 2.4g so in the 2.4 gigahertz i'm typing underscore 2g on the 5 gigahertz i'm typing underscore 5g and scroll down to the bottom page and under the add device area wireless radio choose both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz and hit apply changes okay now what's happening is you are changing your wireless ssid name the system i am recording this video also connected to the same ssid which i just changed so going to disconnect from the modem so we have to connect it again while connecting the new one i'm going to check on my mobile whether we have two wireless ssid names available or not i mean the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz is separated or not okay here we can see both are separated and we can connect individually okay now i'm going to move to the pc and connect it again with the new name now you can see the wireless on this computer is disconnected let's connect with the new ssid so we can see the 5g there i'm going to connect with the 5g and the password is remain same as before the password for 5g and 2.4g is same and i didn't change anything so it will be the default password as before It's connected to 5G now, so the page will load automatically. Okay, your setting has been updated. Okay, so it's automatically logs out since we changed the SSID. So I'm going to log in again to check the settings. Okay, under the hub 3.0 status overview, we can see the wireless on 2.4 and 5. Let's check the wireless signal. Okay, both 2.4 and 5 is enabled, which which is we done earlier. And let's check the security step. Okay, the SSID we changes earlier is also served. Mission success. Now we have successfully splitted our Wi-Fi. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.